So today I'm reviewing this product which came from banggood.com. Now before I start, full disclosure, I received this product free of charge from banggood.com so this is a sponsored review. But I'd like you to know that I do try to keep my reviews honest and objective and so I'm going to tell you what I think about this product, not just that it's good because I got it for free. I'm going to tell you what I really think. You'll find links in the video description to buy this product on banggood.com. Those links are affiliate links. So let's have a look at this. It is a solar panel that's intended to be clipped to a rucksack or travel bag or something like that. So it's kind of laminated into a sheet of plastic. So I'm not going to try and bend that too much because I don't think it's really meant to be all that flexible, but it's got an array of solar cells on here. It's got a USB socket on the back and it comes with these four little carabiner things, not for climbing. It comes with these four little carabiners to clip it onto your bag or whatever you want to clip it onto. So uh, this is a bit of an exercise of, yeah, there we go. So those little carabiners go on the corner like that. Now it's a bit too late in the evening to test this right now. Anyway, let's, I'll get everything I need to test this and then we'll go and give it a, t a try out in the sunshine. Now, unfortunately, it is a very typical overcast British summer day and the sun is nowhere to be seen just lots and lots of clouds so well this is what I have to deal with anyway so why don't we just see how much juice we can get out of this thing on a cloudy day that would be interesting to start with won't it I fitted the power meter on the back there and I've got to kind of hold it upside down really I need an extension a USB extension for this so I'm going to have to show you the back end. I'm going to have to point the camera upwards and show you the back of the panel. So even on a cloudy day, it is actually managing to get 5 volts. But let's have a look and see. It's because it's the current that really matters. So I am going to plug in a USB cable here. And I'm going to plug that into my phone here and see if we can actually manage to get that phone to charge on a cloudy day like today. So, let's have a look. No, it's very bravely trying. It's very bravely trying. And every now and again, it's producing a little spike of, of voltage, but no current at all. And the phone says it's on charge, interestingly, and then it says it's not. So not on a cloudy day, I'm afraid. So we're going to have to try this again on a sunny day. Well, I will come back and give this a go when it's a nice, sunny, bright day. We've got here a mobile power bank and it's charging constantly without any interruption. And I've tried another phone and it does the same as well. So I'm just going to plug the power meter in there and actually see what sort of current we're getting. Okay, so here's the actual power readings. 4.73 volts at 0.3 amps, just under 5 volts. So it does look like it's quite capable when it's in direct bright sunlight. Okay, so when it's in direct sunlight, we can get a constant charge out of it. At the moment it's charging my daughter's iPhone here and let's see if we can get this four point something volts. I can't see that so I'm just going to focus on that and I'll re we'll figure that out when we actually see the footage. But there we go. So some phones if they try to draw too much power will overwhelm this thing and cause it to shut down. But when it's in full sun some devices are charged by it. it uh, it's a bit hit and miss I'd say, so it's probably worth a try. It was quite good at charging a USB power bank. Um, my Windows Lumia 735 would not charge properly. I think it was trying to draw too much current and that was causing the thing to cycle on and off. 
Okay, so in conclusion, what are we going to say about this solar panel? Well, it's lightweight, it's tough, it seems fairly durable, and it's got these clips on the corner so you can hang it up or you can hang it on your bag and so on. You've got on the underside, you've only got one USB port, so you can really only charge one thing at a time on there. Charging performance. I probably only managed to get one watt out of this uh, at the best conditions, but that could well be attributed to the poor sunlight we had here rather lately. We've had a lot of cloudy weather, and actually when it's been sunny, it's not really been blazing hot. So it could be down to that. I did find that one of my devices wouldn't charge at all on this, and actually it kept on going on and off, and it wasn't charging very well at all. So it was fine when this was in direct sunlight, though. So I, I would say probably if you're charging something that's a bit power hungry, maybe you want to look for something a bit bigger than this. But if you're just wanting to top up a phone, and especially if you live in a place where you get reliable, very bright sunlight, then I think this will probably do you quite well. So I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.